Now our 3 News Extra, you'll remember the reputation of the Corpus Christi public water system took quite a hit a couple of years ago with three water boil alerts and a chemical scare that wound up cutting off water to thousands of residents and businesses. And right, and now two years later, some are still unsure how safe the city's water supply really is. Our Brian Burns and Stephen Cavazos looked into the state of the system and gives us this update on the water's fine. It's been two years since the city has had any major water problems, and we wanted to find out where we are in the state of water treatment and how the future looks for the city of Corpus Christi. In just 17 months, residents were told four times not to drink water straight out of the tap. Water boils were in effect in July of 2015, in September of 2015, in May of 2016, and the last incident was a report of a chemical being allowed into the system because of a faulty backflow preventer. In just 48 hours, officials determined there was no such contamination. City leaders then charged the water department with bringing all systems up to state compliance. I uh, made some improvements at the water treatment plant. Uh, another thing is the cycling of the elevated storage tanks that are in the distribution system and also eliminating over 100 dead end mains since the beginning of 2017. Gabriel Ramirez, the assistant director of water quality and treatment for the city, says new chemicals, new procedures and correcting a shortage of workers all helped. We had a 25 percent vacancy rate back in 2016 uh, in the utilities department. Now we're down to 7 percent. So we've made a great improvements in filling a lot of these positions, and with more people, you can get a lot more work done more efficiently. But the political firestorm was intense. Many attributed the water problem to then-Mayor Nelda Martinez, who failed to get re-elected, and Dan McQueen, who won the seat but resigned 37 days later. Joe McComb won a special election a couple of months after that, promising to make sure the water problems were fixed. I think the quality of the water, we've been rated as a superior water supply by the... Uh, the state, and that was one of our goals uh, that first term, and we've, and we've achieved that. Uh, and we've got people in place, we've got processes in place so that we don't have to deal with water boils. And Ramirez says now our city is the one other Texas cities come to when they're trying to solve their own water problems. But a new problem cropped up just over a year ago with the amounts on residents' water bills. Stephen Cavazos has more. Well, you know the water is safe to drink. <sighs> You know the water is safe to use, but is it something you feel safe paying for? After Corpus Christi's water system faced some challenges over the last year, we went to City Hall to find out. Well, it's just months ago that residents were out here wall to wall demanding answers after seeing a spike in their water bill. Well, now the city wants residents to know those waters have calmed and those issues can be put to rest. If something doesn't look a little right, then they're going to fix it. My experiences have, have not been very positive. Trust and still some uncertainty over the city's billing software system. There, there are customers, so we're supposed to provide the best service possible. Peter Collins is the acting chief information officer for the city. He came on board in October of 2018 to offer a solution. There was a number of things going on at the time that really contribute to the shock that my bill has increased. Collins helped to identify the problem, which he said started with a lack of maintenance. We're able to repeat the, the, the proper steps in order to ensure we have accurate and timely bills. From processes to rate changes, everything is tested, so residents open their bill with no surprises. And you see the results of it because it has brought stability to the system. As for the future, the community remains a top priority. And that was Brian Burns and Stephen Cavazos reporting. We wanted to know what you thought. So we asked this question online tonight. Do you think the city has done a good job taking care of the water problems? That's our megaphone poll tonight. You just go to our website, ktriplitv.com slash boat to take part in the poll. And there's also more on our website on the city's future plans for desalination. You can go there anytime. The website, ktriplitv.com.